In about half an hour from now, there will be a vigil in honor of O'Shea Sibley. One week ago, an attacker fatally stabbed the 28-year-old at a gas station in Midwood, Brooklyn. His accused killer surrendered to police yesterday, and he now faces murder as a hate crime and criminal possession of a weapon charges. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Johnny Fernandez. A candlelight vigil is being held here at the LGBTQ Community Center to remember O'Shea Sibley, a man many say was a distinguished performer. And the NYPD says that a 17-year-old was arrested in connection to the case. The police department took this case as seriously as any other case, but to make sure we can bring the perpetrator to justice. In this surveillance video, you can see the 17-year-old confronting O'Shea Sibley just moments before a fight breaks out. Just minutes before, the openly gay professional dancer and his friends were listening to music and dancing while pumping gas last weekend at this Brooklyn gas station. The joyful moment quickly took a turn when they were confronted by a group yelling homophobic slurs. And moments later, O'Shea was stabbed in his chest, damaging his heart. This is a city where you are free to express yourself. And that expression should never end with any form of violence. The NYPD say the 17-year-old charge in connection to siblings' death is known to them. He has been charged with murder, too, and that is being charged as a hate crime and criminal possession of a weapon. Sibley's death has captured the attention of performers nationwide, and a memorial is in place at the gas station where he was stabbed. It's a reminder of an ongoing fight many continue to battle, as they simply just want to be accepted. He was never able to reach his full potential. The saddest thing apart about it is that we wrestle with this death. We wrestle with hate crimes. We wrestle with people within our community constantly facing discrimination. O'Shea Sibley will be laid to rest this upcoming week in his hometown of Philadelphia. Reporting from the West Village, I'm Johnny Fernandez, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.